Hello, I'm Muhammad Ayan Anwar and uh, I belong from Pakistan um, and I'm student of international relations and politics at uh, ALTE and I'm one of the international student ambassador at ALTE. Uh, I'm sitting here today uh, with Dr. Uh, Frank Thomas Ego, the associate professor at the uh, Department of uh, International uh, Studies and Political Studies and uh, at the Department of Human Rights and Political Science. Uh, so thank you so much, uh, sir, for taking time to speak to me. Hi, Ayan. Thanks for having me. Uh, first of all, I think it would be nice uh, to hear uh, a bit more about your own background. Uh, my name is Frank Gigo, like you said. I'm uh, originally from Toronto, Canada. Born there in 1968, and I grew up there. Uh, my parents were ethnic Hungarians, so I grew up bilingual. English and Hungarian, and I did a bachelor's degree in physics at the uh, University of Toronto. Then in the year 1990, I moved to Budapest, which was undergoing incredible change at the time, and I started working for a research institute. And then in 1993, I moved to the USA for three years to do my master's degree and to start my PhD which I completed in political science in 2002, I believe. And I've been teaching and uh, researching political science ever since here. Can you please tell us that what uh, attracted you uh, to study uh, the fields you have mentioned? And also, do you remember that what triggered you, uh, like tr triggered your interest in uh, international relations and political science? Sure. Well, I've always been interested in politics. When I was a child, we, we got the newspaper. And the first thing I always read was the sports page. But the second thing was always the front page and the main political news. So I've always been interested. I've had uh, friendships since uh, my teenage years where discussing politics was one of the backbones of the, uh, the friendship. I moved here in 1990 and I started working for a research institute and I was an assistant to an American professor who was doing projects helping teachers to adjust to teaching in a, demo in a democracy instead of a state socialist system. And that brought out the interest I already had in politics. And it was under his um, support that I, I did move to the States. So, uh, yeah, politics is, is all around us and we depend on it. And I think it's nice, uh, nice luxurious state if you know enough about it and you, you can have a say in what's yeah. going on. Interesting. Uh, can you please tell us about the area of research that you're interested in? Well, quite generally, I would, I would call my interest democratic theory. So what it takes to have a democratic society, what it takes to sustain a democratic society. And that goes back to when I moved here, when uh, democratization was, I would say, in full swing. So uh, my PhD dissertation was on political socialization in Hungary, so how to teach young people to uh, live in a democracy. And then eventually my interest shifted to minority politics, minority rights, which I always treated as sort of a litmus test for tolerance in, in democratic life. And then recently I've become uh, newly interested in what I call, well, not just I, what people call participatory democracy, how citizens can come together despite diversity, despite, despite differences, and work on finding solutions to common problems in their, in their uh, common lives. Amazing. Uh, so being a lecturer uh, at a university, what kind of uh, career opportunities are available uh, for the graduates of international relations or, or political science? Sure. Well, uh, I, I try to be honest with the students. Very, very few of them are going to become scholars in IR or in political science. A few will, and that's wonderful, and we support them 100%. But most of them will enter the job market with ambitions of working for an international organization or working for a uh, diplomatic corps. And uh, a portion of them will do that, uh, but there's the others. Not everyone gets into the, uh, the most desirable jobs. Uh, and what I tend to say is, well, when you come here and you study here, or in any good, good school, 
you learn things like critical thinking, you learn things like independent research, cooperative research, uh, how to take a, a wider view of, of the very complicated problems we have in the world. And I think those are skills that, that any rational employer would be happy to have in her staff or his staff. Thank you. Uh, so my next question to you is this, that uh, how long have you been teaching at IELTS? Well, there are two answers to that question. I've been a full-time faculty member for two and a half years now. So I, came, I was teaching at another university for a long time before I came here. However, I've been a guest lecturer at, at since 1997, when I was a graduate student still. And um, normally I would do about one course a year at Alta for uh, the sociology program, or sometimes for international students, which was always quite a pleasure. Great. And uh, what do you like about teaching at Alta? Oh, I, I like a lot of things. <laughs> Let's start with the student body, uh, the cultural diversity that I'm, I'm seeing every day at the school is, is remarkable and, and incredibly encouraging. Um, I like the faculty, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just stick to my direct colleagues, my close colleagues, but uh, quite a young faculty uh, with good experience, with great research programs and uh, very supportive of each other in our teaching challenges, research challenges. Uh, Alta also, uh, let me be honest, it, it has a great reputation in Hungary and in Central Europe. Uh, it's a prestigious school. It is. And it's nice to, it's nice to teach at a prestigious <laughs> school. Yeah, it is. Um, so, as you have been teaching for a long time at Alta, so w what is uh, the best memory of you at Alta? Well, this is a, I was thinking about this this morning. Uh, I had a funny course where, two courses. Uh, for, for first year students, we offer a course, I think it's mandatory for you guys, called uh, Reading Academic Texts. And I thought, oh, these poor international students arriving and then I have to torture them, making them read all this complicated social science. I said, let's read another kind of social science. Very complicated, but maybe a little different, a little more interesting. And I decided that we should study scholarship on the Beatles and Bob Dylan. And we did this for a semester and it was a great time. Um, I didn't, I don't know if all the students became Beatles and Bob Dylan fans, but that's not the point. We had a good time. And I found an article for the syllabus on tribute bands. So people who come together just to play Bob Dylan songs or Beatles songs. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to find some musicians in this city who play in these kinds of bands? And I did find some. Some of them were friends. Some of them I had just contacted for the first time. And they came in, and instead of having a regular seminar, we had a discussion with them about how the music they play is international and how there's a global culture uh, where music plays this part. So we, tr we tried to connect it to uh, international relations as best as we could. It was a fun, fun memory. Wonderful. Nice. And I think that uh, there, there is always a strong relation between music and the culture of different uh, countries. Yeah, and how yeah. countries get along, and yeah. how, how yeah. countries learn to understand each other. Sure. Yeah. The number of international students uh, is increasing in Hungary every year. So, w what do you think that why students uh, choose Hungary to study? Well, there are some, some romantic reasons and there are some pragmatic reasons. So I'll start with the romantic. Uh, Hungary is a beautiful country. Yeah, no doubt in that. Budapest, Budapest is a beautiful city with a, a very good quality of life. And I think students can come here and, and enjoy that and make the most of it. Pragmatically also, uh, Budapest is quite fortunately located, meaning if you have a long weekend, you can get to other points of interest in Europe quite easily. I, that, that's, that's somewhat romantic and pragmatic. Um, the school's got a good reputation and, and there are a few other uh, universities in Hungary which, which are very renowned. I think that helps. Pragmatically, I think many students want to study in Europe but can't afford London or can't afford 
Paris or Berlin, and they find Budapest to be authentically European, which it is, but also much more affordable. And I, I, I think that's, that's a consideration students are always going to take. Also, I have a, a personal question. Sure. sure. Uh, that being a student of international relations, how uh, important uh, do you think that it is uh, for the student of IR or political science uh, to be more, uh, you know, active in the social activities, or for example, t uh, taking part in different projects or joining the student societies or clubs? How how, how do you see that? Well, I I, th I think it's it's incredibly important for two reasons. One is you're spending three years on getting a higher education degree, yeah. but you're also between the ages of 20 and 25. You should be having the best time of your life. You should be taking your studies seriously, but you should be having a wonderful time. And if you go through these three years without meeting other people, without getting to know the local culture a little more, without mingling with uh, people from other nations, you're not making the most of the three years. So that's one reason I would encourage it. The other reason is when you come to university, you might be training to be a professional, or you might be training to be a diplomat, or you might be training to be a scholar in the future, but you're also training to be a good citizen of a democratic and flourishing society. And one of the most important things citizens do is they join together in associations with common interests and they learn how to work together and they learn how to progress and develop together. Thank you. And uh, my last question will be that if you could uh, pass on any wisdom or advice uh, to the potential students. Yeah, I would connect that to the previous question and previous answer is get involved, get to know people, Study hard, work hard, learn a lot, but enjoy yourself. Have a good time. These, these are some of the best years of your life. You will make friendships here that will last a lifetime. So savor it, enjoy it. Thank you. Um, so I hope that uh, you enjoyed uh, the interview. So thank Very you so much, much so. for having me and uh, for giving me your uh, precious time. Well, thank you for your invitation, Aya. Pleasure.